The temple was filled with curious listeners as Jesus taught. These people were eager to hear the man who had cast out demons, forgiven sins, and raised the dead. Amazingly, Jesus taught as if he had written the scriptures and that he could fulfill them. Soon the religious leaders in the crowd grew angry. Who did this man think he was? The religious leaders asked Jesus, Who gives you the authority to teach and act like this? Jesus responded by telling a story about a man who left his vineyard in the care of farmhands while he went on a journey. The man expected these farmhands to care for his vineyard and make it profitable. After some time had passed, the man sent servants to check on his vineyard, but the farmhands beat them and chased them away. Finally, the man sent his own son. Sure, the farmhands would respect him, but they killed his son and tried to steal the vineyard for themselves. Jesus looked at the religious leaders and asked, What do you think the owner of the vineyard will do next? Without waiting, Jesus answered his own question. He will come back and destroy the farmhands and give the vineyard to someone else. The religious leaders realized that Jesus was comparing them to the evil farmhands in his story. This filled them with so much rage that they decided to destroy Jesus. Watching for a chance to trap Jesus, the religious leaders sent spies through the crowds where he taught. These spies pretended to respect Jesus, but their real mission was to trick him into saying something that would get him in trouble. The spies asked Jesus, Good teacher, is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar? If Jesus said yes, the Jewish people who hated Caesar would turn on him. But if he said no, Caesar's officials could have him arrested for disobeying Roman law. Jesus saw through the spies' evil plan. Show me a coin, he instructed them. The men fumbled around until they found one. Jesus asked them, Tell me, whose face is on this coin? It's Caesar's, the spies replied. Well then, Jesus said, Give to Caesar what is his, and give to God what is his. This answer stunned the spies. Not only had Jesus escaped the spies' trap, but he also answered their question with incredible wisdom. By saying, give to Caesar what is his, Jesus made it clear that people must honor and respect those with earthly authority. By saying, give to God what is his, Jesus reminded the crowd that their biggest concern should be giving God the things he asks for. While Caesar was asking for taxes and coins, God was asking for trust, obedience, and love. Jesus' answer was so amazing that the spies didn't dare ask him any more questions. Sadly, no matter how many amazing things Jesus said or did, the religious leaders would not turn their hearts to God. These men refused to give up their power and influence for anyone, even the Son of God. Later, to protect their power, they sent Jesus to die upon a cross. But three days later, Jesus rose from the dead and showed, just as he had taught, that the power and authority of God is far above all others.